You can say Jack Fruit Yummy. Jack Fruit Yummy. So one of our favorite things in living in Hawaii has been an enjoying jackfruit, which is what this is. Now there's a lot of videos out there on jackfruit, but uh, what, what they don't tell you is you can see these things just hanging on trees on the side of the road sometimes on the big island. That's where I got this one. Okay, so it's pretty prickly. It kind of hurts your hands a little bit. And you want to get it to where it's starting to get some little bit of black on it. And you can totally tell that it's ready by the smell. If you've ever eaten juicy fruit gum, that's where they got the flavor from, from the jackfruit. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to process it right now. It's really easy. Okay, oh, by the way, did I tell you? My name's James Land, and I'm the founder of Go Gracefully, one of them at least, and we're getting ready to leave the island to do a four x four tour of North America. There won't be any jackfruits on that tour, but there's gonna be a lot of other fun things that we'll share with you along the way. All right, so I have my helper here, Mr. Atticus. We need to put some oil on the counter. So the first thing we do is you take a little organic olive oil and you just pour it right on the counter, just like that. Then you get yourself a paper towel and you spread it around. And the reason you do this is because jackfruit is filled with latex. And the latex will stick to your hands, it'll stick to your knife, it'll stick to darn near everything. So we put a little olive oil on and that way, it, don't touch this now, this is sharp. We put that olive oil on and it prevents the latex from sticking to everything. So the first thing I like to do is come in right on the center line and tuck my thumb away because these things are pretty tough. And then you cut down the center line all the way up to the stem. Okay, now they don't tell you this at jackfruit school. But once you get that halfway cut in, the next easiest thing to do is to just rip it open. There we go. Okay. So that's what it looks like inside. And this is a real, real tricky part for some people. Wow. Wow. Okay. So what you're after are these pods right here. Don't touch this now, this is sharp. Right here, these little pods. And uh, there's all kinds of different jackfruit. Some of them are crunchy, like this one. Oh, wait a minute. Can I have this knife? Thank you. Um, wow, this is a good one. Some of them are crunchy, like this one, and other ones are slimy and sticky. I don't particularly like those. This one is awesome. So the next thing you want to do is you want to kind of cut out this center thing which is what holds the stem. And by cutting that out, watch your fingers, watch your fingers. By cutting that out, it frees up all the pods. I've seen the pods yes. stick to the core too. Yeah, Jeremy uses that yes. technique. I've never yes. quite been able to figure that one out. Here, you're gonna get latex on your hands, mister. Yes. Okay, so now you can almost turn it inside out. Okay, you can almost, at this point, kind of invert it right here like that. Isn't that beautiful? So this is what you're after right here. These are the pods. Right there. Now, a lot of people do things with these uh, other parts inside here. You can look that up on YouTube. I imagine there's a video that shows how to turn this into a... Uh, what is it, Leah? They turn it into? Um, it has to be a... Pulled pork? Oh, you need a, a green, yeah. oh, a green jackfruit. You can use it as a meat alternative if you have a green, unripe jackfruit. So we're gonna start processing this now. How was it? You want one? Oh, wow. 
These are, we really lucked out with this jackfruit. Um, again, if you can find them where they're crunchy, they're so good. One thing we're gonna miss about Hawaii is tropical fruit. Mangoes, apple bananas, star fruit. Durian. Durian, jackfruit, so many. We could go on. So when you come here, don't buy your fruit in the market. Go to the local farmer's market. The Javi Farmer's Market, where we serve food for many years, is an excellent place to stop in if you're ever up in the north end of the Big Island.